guys, I hope you're good. In today's video, I am gonna answer one of the questions that I am most frequently asked about boat life, specifically about purchasing a boat. And that question is, can you get mortgaged to buy a boat? Simple answer is yes, but I'll go into a bit more detail about it. The cost of purchasing a boat can vary greatly, and that will depend on a number of different factors, for example, if the boat comes with a transferable mooring, the condition of the boat, the length, loads and loads of different things. And of course, not everybody is going to be fortunate enough to be able to buy a boat with cash. So they would need to borrow some money from somewhere. And in that situation, it could be possible to purchase a boat using a mortgage. However, this might not be the kind of mortgage you are used to. And before I go on any further in the video, I can only talk about how things work in England. The rules and the products available in other countries could be quite different. So in England, if you wanted to buy a property, you can use a mortgage to borrow the money to do that. You would have to put down a deposit. It's usually around 10% and then the bank or the mortgage lender will lend you the rest of the money to buy your house, your flat, etc. And of course that loan is secured against the property, so if you stop paying the mortgage they would repossess your home. In British law a boat is not considered a property in the same way that a house would be. So you couldn't just go to your high street bank or mortgage lender and ask them for a mortgage for a boat. Instead, you would have to go to a specialist company and get what is known as a marine mortgage. Uh, it's kind of similar in a lot of ways to a standard mortgage. You would borrow an amount of money to purchase the boat and that loan would be secured against the boat. Again, if you didn't pay, they would repossess the boat. However, there are a lot of differences and there are only a very small number of companies that offer marine mortgages and the arrangements for this are quite different to arrangements when organising a residential mortgage for a property. The first thing to note is that the vast majority of marine mortgage lenders will only allow you to borrow money if the boat that you're looking to purchase comes with a permanent residential mooring. And some other differences to bear in mind. Maximum length of a marine mortgage is usually 10 years and that is about half of what you would normally get a mortgage on a house. So considering that depending on the location some boats with residential moorings are actually more extensive than a house would be in another part of the country. So you could still be paying a similar amount of money back, but over a much shorter term. So that would mean that the monthly repayments could be quite a lot higher than a mortgage for a house. Additionally, the interest rates are usually higher than they would be for a residential mortgage. I did some research before I filmed this video and it seemed to be that marine mortgages were coming out with an interest rate of about 5% more than what most house mortgages were coming out at. I think most lenders on a house were around about 3% mark and marine mortgages were coming out around the 8% mark. So quite a lot higher and also with all of the marine mortgages that I saw you could only borrow 80% of the value of the boat meaning that you would need to fund a 20% deposit yourself as I said with a mortgage for a house most people will lend up to 90% some people even 95% but with a marine mortgage the maximum I could find was 80% and that is 80% of the value of the boat. It doesn't include 
the value of the moorings or anything else that would be included in the sale. So if you had two identical boats and one of them had a permanent residential mooring and the other one didn't, they were just continuously cruising, the one with the mooring is gonna demand a higher asking price. However, the valuation will be against just the boat. So for example, you find your dream boat, city centre location, residential moorings, it's in really good condition, and the asking price for that boat is £100,000. When you have the boat valued by a surveyor, they might come back and say, actually, that boat is only worth about £80,000, but £20,000 would be the value of it coming with the moorings included. The marine mortgage company will only lend you up to 80% of the £80,000, not of the full £100,000. So they would be lending you 64000 if my maths is correct. So that means you would need to find £20,000 for the extra asking price for the mooring included, as well as £16,000 as a deposit for the mortgage. And that is a lot of money to make up for most people. If you found yourself in that situation, then what would your options be? To come up with the deposits that you need, or are there other options that you could look at that might be better than going down the route of a marine mortgage? A more affordable way to finance things could be through an unsecured personal loan. The amount that you'd be able to borrow can vary quite a lot depending on lenders and of course your personal situation. But the advantage with this type of loan is that you wouldn't be restricted only to a boat that came with a residential mooring. So if you were looking to continuously cruise or to have a leisure mooring, or you didn't immediately need to buy a boat with residential mooring, then that could be a much more affordable way to do things. And of course, it would give you a lot more choice on what boat to buy. And interest rates on personal loan, they're not as good as they would be on a house mortgage, but they will be cheaper than on a marine mortgage. They're usually somewhere in between the two. Um, because there are more lenders offering personal loans, then you can shop around a bit more and maybe negotiate a different rate. But with the loan being unsecured, generally lenders won't lend you as much as you would be able to borrow with a marine mortgage. So depending on which end of the market you're looking to buy, a personal loan might not be the best option for you, but it's definitely something to consider. If you were going to buy a boat from a boat builder, through a broker or a marina, you might be able to make some or all of that purchase on a credit card if you had obviously enough credit limit, so that's another option as well. And then finally the last option that I'm going to talk to you about, I've heard of a few people doing this. Um, that is to remortgage your house and borrow some extra money that would allow you to buy a boat. Of course that's only going to be an option if you are already a homeowner, but if you wanted a boat for leisure purposes then that could be an option and also I know of people remortgaging their houses and giving the money to their children so they can buy a boat to live on. In conclusion, yes, you can get a mortgage to buy a boat, but there are also a number of other ways that you can finance it. There are probably many more that I am not even aware of that I haven't mentioned in the video. And that's why it is really important to explore different options and find the route that is best for you. Buying a boat is a really big commitment and obviously there will be ongoing maintenance involved and sometimes that can be quite expensive. So I would recommend if you're able to, to leave some money aside after your boat purchase for any unexpected bills that might crop up. And the key thing to remember that life on the water is at a much slower pace. So try not to rush. Your boat will find you eventually. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye!